the training video now is about all the new enhancements that happened in the second quarter of 2017. Uh, the things that you'll see that we added was priority hours and carryover hours. We added vehicle delivery notes and we added a vehicle, what we call a vehicle tag. So by that, what we mean is you have now added a new feature called the vehicle tab. We have our priorities. We added carryover, and then we added the vehicle delivery notes. And this has everything to do with what you need to do to deliver that vehicle. So you can let the technician know when the parts are coming in, or you need to pick the customer up at the office, or anything that has to do with delivering that vehicle. The next feature that we added uh, was you, we added the gross profit per part. We added the ability to look at all the technicians and see which technicians are timed into what jobs and which technicians are on e-time and where they're at on the e-time. We added the time clock, which lets you edit and do time management so you can see all the time of the vehicle, what he was on an idle time, he was on idle time for 15 minutes waiting for the park, and you can see history or whether it's pending, and you're able to see actual time, vehicle time, and e-time, and look how productive the shop was. You can then look at the jobs he's marked finished and the jobs that actually got closed. So you're able to see all that in time management and actually use this for a time clock if you for all your employees if you wanted to do that. At the same time, we added a new feature that's really uh, we brought out this last week. And this feature is if I wanted to look at, let's say, the 24th and look at how well uh, my guys are, my service advisor are updating the job. So we can look at, let's just look at this one vehicle. So one of the features that we've added to was the search features built into service activity. And so you can look at it. Did I? recommend something or I can type in I can type in oil change and look in when the last oil change was done. I can see that they did an oil change uh, on 821 and so I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and change that to 821. Uh, the mileage was on that date 91126. So now I want to update that. They're driving 442 miles based on their history a month. So I want to be able to make sure I'm putting the next oil change due date on every vehicle I want back in the service center. And you can see that on the service activity, you recommended a bunch of work. But we want the oil change to drive in that next business. That's the easiest way to do it. So looking at that, we 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 recommended an air filter. You know, we recommended a, a time belt replacement. So this is going to trigger my follow-up right here. So as what we wanted to do was create a new, we just created these new reports of creating CSV files, but we also added a report that lets you see the customer, his address, their phone numbers. You can see they're not getting very many email addresses, and then you're also able to see what got recommended as declined, and then what got put on as when the next oil change due date would be. So you're able to see, based on a day, and you can see lots of recommendations, but no follow-up on this one, just decline. So it's important that we start triggering the follow-up, and then from this, we're going to be able to create our new marketing tool. That's the beginning of our new automation of marketing. Uh, you can click here and just look at vehicles that you have declines on. So with this new report, this just came out. Uh, we'll be doing lots of new things with this. So again, every week we bring out we we, we bring out a new project. Uh, one of the new features that we added was you know, and this happened a long time ago, is being able to turn on or turn off on hold. So if I'm looking at that, we added the ability to filter. So if I'm looking at Matt, and then uh, if I guess I can look at what he's got on hold, he's got a big job on hold. I'm waiting for he's waiting for approval on that rest of the work on that particular car. So we're just going to hide it from his screen. We can see he's down to two hours. So we need to get him some more work. So this is why it's so important to manage 
finished hours and priority hours. So this became being able to look at all your technicians on one screen. You can see that, you know, he's got plenty of work. It's most of it's on one job, so he may be. Uh, so this again just lets you see what's going on in the shop. So in follow up, again we added the ability to look at going forward. Last week, this week we're going to add uh, that report to the service due. That way you can see that on one screen. Uh, in in history, we certainly made it really easy to search. And as we keep moving forward with the technician and the technician time clocks, uh, we are uh, in process of uh, going to be adding, we'll have 11 e times and be adding notes uh, in next week's release. Uh, so that's a piece that's coming. So with our enhancements, we have, uh, we're always listening to you and recommending best practices and getting started. Uh, we're, we're adding a part search where you can search parts uh, and just type in and look at history parts work in progress parts and this is going to be a feature that we are bringing into the next repeats and then we added we continue to add reports but the dashboard is certainly going to be a standalone product where you could actually have this on both screens if you're really managing your technicians so this that is the new enhancements that came out uh, in the second quarter of 2017.